And I look, and I'll say this, I know we're dropping a mic in this, but I love the idea of like of you being wise enough to realize, grab this, create a standee, take all the work out of it. Mm -hmm. wanna, it don't cost nothing. You already got a standee custom that's pushing it. And go from there. So that's a great idea. Especially if you're doing that, by the way. But, hey, hey. I wouldn't have said it if I wasn't worried. Well, I, know, you know, I told you I'm competitive, so yeah. I wouldn't have told it's you. Like, and a good competitor knows. It's like, I can tell you whatever. That don't mean you're going to necessarily. Yeah, that too. Me. It's like, and, but I will tell you this, guys. For anything, anybody out there who's like a creator and wants to do cons and all that stuff, it's okay to not have it professionally printed and just DIY it because all you really need is a color or cover. Okay? It can be a black and white insight. It doesn't necessarily have to be the most sharpest coolest thing save that for when you're really pushing your stuff to like the people who are really excited for your product and that's more so giving back to them mm -hmm. you know but as far as like going to a convention where they're going to upsell the upcharge the hell out of you for that table yeah. where they make it so hard for you to even make it you know worth going there it's more so just something you did for fun like going to disney world or mm -hmm. something it's not like it wasn't a good business move you keep your costs down by making these DIY books. People are excited just that you're doing stuff like this. You keep it interesting. Get colored pieces of paper, not just white pieces of paper. So you get red, red um, printed paper, blue printed paper, yellow mm -hmm. printed paper. Maybe mix it in so it's like a, it's like a rainbow of pages. That's what um, Shonen Jump does, and they've been outselling the American comic market for years. So it's like um, don't get so caught up in what a comic is supposed to be. And more so, like we said earlier, stay stick to your story. Keep that on on um, just on par so with with um, all these other great stories out here. All these Hollywood movies. You keep your storytelling on par with all these other respectable stories, and it doesn't matter what it looks like. Really South Park. It's been running for years. It doesn't. It's not. It's not. It's. It's not Norman Rockwell, all right? You don't. You don't need all of that. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> You just gotta be you and write it, your story. Write your I'm gonna sneak in one more question. Man, we done! What you talking about? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, cons, did you think cons are worth it then? Because I'm not convinced that they were. I was like, I, I've been leaning towards being convinced that they weren't. Okay. Yeah, I mean, did you think, did you think they're worth it? I mean, long, I mean, cons, the scope of things? Cons are a great experience, a great way to meet fans. It's, yeah. it's, it's not about, it's like, not at, at this stuff. point, it's not about money. It's, about, it's money. about building your following. I have this other plan. I'll tell you off the video just because okay. I like you. Yeah. But, you know, I, <laughs> there's a, it's more so about building your following. Okay. And it's, um, it's not necessarily about making sales, making a profit. Like I said, do the DIY thing if you're, you know, looking mm -hmm. to make some money, you know, just to, for your, you know, for expending all this or whatever. Uh, but it's really more so about the fans and building a relationship with them. Like have, having a following already before you go there and saying, y'all, I'm gonna be here, mm -hmm. come by the table, we can just chop it up. If you want a book, sure, you get a book. You know, I'm not really selling them for a lot. It's like, I'm just excited that people are down for my stuff. You build a strong relationship with them. You get more people to get on you. Here's a, here's a quick little freebie. Anybody who can actually draw, you're not just a writer. If you can draw, yeah, we're about to run out of time. If you can draw, give away free commissions just if the people follow you. That's an easy way to build your following, okay? Draw something real quick, but you have to follow me on my page, and I'll draw something for you real quick, and then boom, you get it. Come on, Benny, man. The kid is a L7 weenie.